Hello everybody and welcome back to Unicorn Dust Designs. I am super excited today because today I am bringing you part three of DIYs using the new Dollar Tree calendars. I did a poll. I asked if you guys wanted to keep seeing this video because it was a very popular video for me and you all said yes do some more. We need some more calendar DIYs. So that is what I'm doing for you today. I am making it more like of a seasonal one. So I'm focused on the Christmas side of it. And then I think I did like a, a couple, maybe fallish Thanksgiving ish ones. I'm not sure. Um, but I am going to be showing you those today. You guys, if you are watching this and you want to support my channel, please make sure to hit the like button. Please make sure to subscribe and make sure that bell is on all so you are notified every time I post a video. So you guys, with that said, let's go ahead and get into this video. DIY number one. Look at how cute she is. Okay, let's get let's get into this here. Okay, so I am gonna start with the Dollar Tree calendar, or a calendar. Well, yeah, it's yeah. Okay, I'm a hot mess already. Sign. We are going to deconstruct it, take the staples out, um, save that little piece of wood that we took off the front of it, and then we're going to get that sticker off with our nifty heat gun. I do have two in my Amazon store, you guys. One that's a little bit more pricey, and then one that is inexpensive. Um, so I am taking this wrapping paper from the Dollar Tree. It is absolutely stunning. And, um, I am just tracing out our sign and then I cut that off and be careful when you are cutting this cause it is a super thin wrapping paper. So just be careful. Okay. So we are going to go ahead and put that on top of the glitter part of our sign. And we're just gonna do that by applying some hot glue here. Bam, 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 done. And then do the other side. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I swear you could hear Hank's paws. And then you're just gonna clean up the excess um, paint. Paint, oh my gosh, I'm a hot mess. Okay, anywho. Okay, you guys, so I, I painted this sign. You do not have to do this because I thought painting it white would make the numbers not show. Well, it makes it show even more through the calendar. So just leave your sign brown. Whenever you use the calendars, just leave it brown because putting it up against a white background just makes the numbers more, um, oh my gosh, it's the morning time on a Saturday. I'm a hot mess. Okay, so now I'm putting the calendar on top. Make sure you want to get, obviously, all of your words in there. And all I'm doing is smoothing this down on the side. You can definitely trace this out. I really wanted to see where my image was and where the wording was, so I decided to do it this way. And then we're going to go ahead and cut this out. Cut it out. What TV show is that from? Come on. Come on. Okay. So I've been seeing everybody use the glue stick method instead of Mod Podge. So I finally found a glue stick in our house and I was like, let's, let's go ahead and try it. So I have to say one, it's less work. Um, two, you can kind of still move your paper around with it, which is nice. Um, and I mean, it wasn't that bad. It's still kind of bubbled up, but yeah. Okay, so that was too small to go in the front because obviously we have that gap. So I'm going to use a painter stick, you guys. And let me tell you, you know those miter box, like on the table, these that you see everybody using? Uh, it is horrible, okay? And I'm sure it's my saw, but your girl just took it out and cut it with a miter saw because that, that was just way too much work. So now I'm gonna stain that piece with some antique wax. Y'all, this like custom stain color that I created right here is my favorite. And you guys know I work with wood, so I've seen a lot of stains in my lifetime here. And uh, I wanna recreate this on everything. So while it was still wet, I got some cashew and blended that in. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. So now I'm taking some twine 
tied it in knots at the end and I'm just using an OG stapler and just stapling it right on to our sign. And this was nice because it didn't bust through the back at all. And then we are going to take our stained piece of wood, apply that, and y'all, we're gonna make her reversible, surprise! But it's not gonna be with the calendar piece. So there she is, look at that wood. Look at the stain on top. Okay, you guys, so I'm taking Dollar Tree Burlap and I'm going to create a bow. You guys, um, I have this in my bow tutorial, a step-by-step real-time walkthrough, so I'm not gonna slow it down here. But this bow is so easy to create and it is so, so pretty. And you can make them as big as you want. But look at how easy that was. I didn't have to use a zip tie, didn't have to use anything. It just holds itself together. So we're gonna go ahead and hot glue that off. Voila, use your finger protectors. Look at how cute that bow is. And then I spray painted you guys the original little wood panel that came on it and then piece from the metal um, word package that's at Dollar Tree. And we are going to just hot glue those on. I'm wishing I would have kept the piece not straight. And then, yeah. So apply your magnets, apply it there. And you guys, what's nice, you can change this. Like it doesn't have to be a bow or next year you can change it to something else. You know what I'm saying? All right. So now I'm taking my detailed Sure Bonder glue gun and we are gonna go ahead and attach that and you're done, you guys. And you have a reversible sign that you can use all year long. And then when Christmas hits, just turn it around grab your bow or whatever you decided to use on your magnet and you have yourself a cute little Christmas sign. Yep, so cute. Of course I had to put in a reversible sign, right? Okay, I love it. Wanted you guys to sit through this long part. Yep, yep, Sammy, we know you love the wood. It's super cute. We get it, girl, Brett. All right, guys, sorry, pause. I wanted to tell you about this. I was sent this. I'm not sponsored by them. I'm not getting any commission from this directly from this company or anything like that. They just sent me this glue gun to try it out and asked if I could just tell you guys about it. So I wanted to take a minute real quick. Um, this glue gun is from Victory Service at 163.com. Um, I will definitely look to see if they have an Amazon link for you as well. Um, I, you guys have been loving this glue gun. It is, I love that it has the flat stands so that you don't have to have like the little, you know, clip to put it down. Like it just stands up by itself. It has two controls on it and then you can turn it off if you want. And then I don't know why I like this so much, you guys, but I feel like the the tip of this is like just a little thicker and flatter. Does that make sense? I don't know, but I like that I can literally almost like drag it on my project and it gives me like a super smooth like strip of hot glue. And I love the handle. I was telling my husband about how weird it is that I just, I like the, the, what do you call this? Oh my gosh. You know what I'm t saying. I really like this. I don't know if it's because it's so high up because like the other ones are pretty like, like low down here. I don't know why. I feel like I have more control over it, I guess. And it is super, super lightweight. You could use any glue gun or glue sticks with it. And yeah, I just wanted to take a minute, show you it. Um, I absolutely love it so far. I've been using it for about a week now before telling y'all about it, but I will definitely leave a link for this down in my description box. If I could find it on Amazon, I will leave um, a link for that in my Amazon box too. So, all right, let's get on with the video. DIY number two, and this is probably one of my top two. So I am just taking the cardboard piece that came in the calendar. I'm taking the full sheet of this calendar. Didn't cut it or anything. It fit pretty darn perfectly on here. 
and then I am just hot gluing. I went back and forth of like mod podging and stuff, but it did very well just hot gluing the edges here. And again, I left the cardboard brown so that the numbers do not show through. Do not paint that white, y'all. Okay, don't do it. So then I'm gonna take some painter sticks. And again, I used my miter saw to cut them because that little box, it was not working for your girl, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and let's clean up the overhang, rot her with our X-Acto knife. And then we are going to go in with Crimson by Waverly. This is a chalk paint. You could use acrylic paint. You don't even have to use this color, you guys. It is all inspirational, okay? So make sure you get the sides, make sure you get the ends because those will show, but do not waste your paint on painting the back because you will not see that. And you're gonna do that with both of your pieces here. Now we are going to attach it. Now I wanna point out that I'm attaching it right underneath that line border of our image and I'm only putting the hot glue on like the edge of this so that you don't wanna fill it with glue and then glue gets everywhere and then you're a hot mess like me you don't need that in your life okay so just be me and then i'm just taking twine i swear twine is awesome i should just have like tons of it because i use it on everything okay now i'm taking this is a fern like bundle pick thing from dollar tree i just took a piece of it off and then i'm taking this poinsettia um bundle from Dollar Tree too. We're gonna attach that. Now, I'm gonna take another one, and just so you guys know, it was so bent up, and I was like, I wanna use it, but it's bent up. So I took the heat gun, and I actually put the heat gun on the front of it, and then I turned it down, and I, see, you could see me using the heat gun, and it actually, fixed all of the petals and laid them out flat again, which I thought was the coolest thing. So you guys, that is it for this sign. I can't wait to show you it at the end because it is absolutely gorgeous. All right, this one, this one, he gave me so much trouble. Okay, so we're taking an embroidery hoop here. And uh, I had so many ideas and expectations for this and oh girl. Okay, so with that, I am on a foam board. You guys, I am going to, I think her name's Cactus something. Ah, she does these really cool um, faux wood panels using foam board. And I will link her down below in my box. She suggested, she said to use razor blades when cutting foam boards so you don't get all the jagged lines. So I ended up trying it and gee, like life changing. It is so much different than using the X-Acto knife. So anyways, it fits good. We're happy. So remember that brown thing I told you about? Um, I ended up painting this brown, okay? And uh, you guys don't, I should have, oh, it is so uneven, this image. Like it was just going sideways from the beginning, but I kept going on. So I painted, I painted this brown because like I said, the numbers show through if it's white. So I was like, okay, get your territorial beige and let's paint her up, right? Cool, all right, so she dries. I'll use my glue stick again. Super happy with the glue stick from the first project. So I'm like, let's just keep going with it. Apply this on and you know, she's she's okay for now. I'm, I'm not mad at it. So I go, I paint my embroidery hoop with moss. Did you just see that? Do you see the wrinkles? So that's wrinkly. And then the paper that's actually on the foam board came off with it. And I was like, uh-uh, no, <laughs> you're gonna work. You're gonna work, I'm gonna make you work. So I just applied more of that glue stick to this. I was not about to throw this in the trash. Uh-uh, those calendars are hard to come by. Your girl made it work, okay? So, there you go. She is on there, and she's she's not going anywhere. So then I put the embroidery hoop over it. I love how the colors come together. Now, I did not like that big white gap on the right bottom side. And you, obviously I didn't cut it in a perfect circle. So to hide that, 
I use this, I think it's berry garland or something. It's from the Dollar Tree. And I basically just wrapped it around in a circle. And then I'm gonna get my detailed hot glue gun. And I'm just going to put dabs of hot glue, maybe like every three inches or so. I'm not covering the whole thing with hot glue because you'd see that. So just put little dots there just to secure it down, okay? So this is when I'm like, okay, this is not bad. So then we're gonna make a hanger for it. Just cut off a small little piece and then I'm just kind of wrapping it around the actual hook of the embroidery hoop. And you got yourself a cute little hanger, right? And then I just wanna make sure that it's added security. So I am security, oh my gosh. Adding some hot glue to the back to make sure it does not fall through. And I'm just a hot mess, you guys. All right, and there she is. All right, I forgot what number DIY this is, four, four maybe? So this one is so easy, you guys. So I took the this, this is from Hobby Lobby. You guys, make sure you take advantage of their clearance like weeks after their sale because this was probably, I think like 45 cents. So I bought a bunch because I knew that they would be great for tiered trays. So I'm taking Elephant Gray and I am going to give this two coats on all sides, the front, the back, everything. I tried steel when I first went in with the paint and that was way too light. It was not covering anything up. So this is Elephant Gray and these are like thick, hard pieces of wood. So you can even like, I'm sure, spray paint these as well. Then I'm coming in with, I believe this one is cashew or it could be plaster. I don't know. And we're just dry brushing it with the Dollar Tree stencil brush. Just giving it a little something, something. And then I'm taking the little bitty baby image of our pumpkin. You guys, what out of all the, the calendars is like your favorite image that you're like, gosh, that is just absolutely stunning. Okay, then we're gonna hot glue, but the hot glue dried before I could even put it on, which was crazy. So we're going to attach that right to the middle. You guys can put words on here. You can, I don't know, do whatever you want, put a little bit of greenery and a tiny little bow. I wanted to keep it simple. So I'm taking this ribbon. Don't know where I got it, you guys. It's been in my stash forever. And I am just going to put hot glue on every side of it just to make sure it's it's secured down and that the ribbon does not move. And I'm making sure that I started at the bottom because since I don't want any bow on here, I don't want that seam to show at the top. So make sure you do put it at the bottom if you're not going to add anything. And then right there, I did um, burn the end with a lighter. That way it does not fray on us. And then we will be done with this. And I think it's cute, it's simple. I love that it's a standalone, so you could put it in a tiered tray, you could put it in a bookshelf, you could put it on your desk, I mean, and I bought a bunch of these, so you'll probably be seeing more of these, okay? Look at how cute this one is. I think that this horse image is probably my favorite one. So I'm taking these candles from the Dollar Tree. I took the label off of one. I actually used the heat gun. I just didn't hold it on there for long, but I used the heat gun to take off the label. And now I'm using rubbing alcohol to get all of that gunk off. You could also use Goo Gone. There's tons of different ways. Okay, so now I'm cutting the little horsey out. I think this, this one and the top left one are definitely my favorite images from this calendar and I almost forgot about this calendar and I'm glad I did not. Okay, so all I'm gonna do you guys is take some hot glue and we're hot gluing her on here. I was thinking about Mod Podge, but like this paper is so thick and it's, it's gonna, you know, needs to bend. So I didn't think that would hold up very well. So the hot glue, it worked, we're good. And then I'm taking this green twine. This is also from Dollar Tree. It's in the automotive section just wrapping that around and then we are going to tie that in a knot. I tried tying it in a bow, no. We're gonna tie it in a knot, then we're gonna take these Dollar Tree bows. Now you guys, when you cut the, um, the back off of them, be careful because the little thing is holding that 
bell thing. Okay, anyways, this one, y'all, this one is so adorable. Okay, so I started with a wood panel from Dollar Tree. I had no idea where I was going with this, but those usually turn out to be the best projects. So don't forget, you guys, on the back of the calendar, the bigger image on the top left, make sure to utilize those too. And that is what we are going to use out of this. I felt like this one was kind of uh, the image was Christmassy with like the trees and everything like that. So that's why I decided to include it in here. And you guys, it just makes the cutest Christmas ornament. All of these can make cute personalized um, Christmas ornaments. So we're happy with how that cut out. Now I'm going to take um, a drill and I'm measuring one inch inside and we are going to drill this. Now, I thought I wanted to put beads on here and that's why I drilled the holes in the first place, but I didn't end up doing that. So you could really just hot glue twine to the back of this as well. So up to you. So after we're done with that, uh, we are going to paint the front and the back with folk art rich black chalk paint. And uh, you can find this at any of your craft stores. There's tons of coupons, so take advantage of those as well. Now, I painted the back of this because I felt like you can put a really cute personalized message on the back with like, white chalk pen or like a paint pen or even if you got like brown shipping paper and hand wrote a note and then hot glued it on there. I just thought that would be so cute. I plan on actually sending this to my nephew. He's only two but um, since it says explore I'm gonna put something like I hope you you know have a sense of adventure like your mom and your dad or you know something like that. I just thought it would be so cute and so meaningful something that'll last forever. So I decided to Mod Podge this on instead of gluing because if you're anything like me, um, I don't separate my Christmas ornaments. I kind of just like toss them all together. So I just wanted to make sure that this was on there good and it wasn't gonna go anywhere if it was kind of like thrown in a Christmas ornament box or anything. So I put it on the back, put it on the front. You could get Mod Podge from the Dollar Tree, you guys, and I know I'm saying it wrong. That is how I say it, and I'm proud to say it like that. Okay, now I'm taking these wood stems. These are also from Dollar Tree. As you can see, they come in big bags, and at first, I thought I wanted to kind of like try and frame this out, but then I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. They look like trees in the forest. Like, look at how adorable that looks. Like, just, mm, uh love this love 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 so i just hot glued those babies to the side and know what's even cooler it's like it could stand up too so if you wanted to just use this in a tiered tray and not do like a you know an ornament super cute so now i'm going to do the finger bow you guys i'm using the green twine and the regular twine i don't know why i can't do the finger bow on the opposite side of my fingers but you know, whatever let's start over here um, the finger bow, you guys, I use it all the time. It's simply so easy and it's so beautiful to me. Like, I just think it's, it's rustic, but it looks put together. I don't know. I love them. All right. And look at how cute, like seriously, that just adds a little, you could even, instead of put it the bow, you can put like with vinyl or handwritten, whoever's name you're giving it to on the top, that would be super cute too. Oh, I should have thought of that, especially since it's for like a little boy. Oh, well, it still turned out cute. So we're just tying the twine to the top and then we're going to attach our bow. And then this little ornament is done, you guys. So many possibilities with these and you can do them with the little calendar pieces and make them, you know, personal for somebody. I think those are the best gifts ever. I'd rather have a handmade gift than any store-bought gift. Okay, look at it. Look at this is my favorite and it's so simple. I think a lot of them are my favorite. Okay, so we're going to use this image and you guys, the images from this calendar are bigger than the other ones. So, you know, then I'm taking this like MDF board. I got this at Hobby Lobby and it was only 99 cents. The 12 inch dowels from Dollar Tree and I already painted those 
white outside. No, I painted them white in my bedroom. Like, oh, duh. Okay, so, oh, I'm a hot mess. Okay, so we are gonna take in the mud a podge. You guys, I need to get sponsored by Mod Podge so I could have gallons of this stuff just sitting in my craft room because I use it all the time. I have to say between Mod Podge, the glue stick, spray adhesive, that Mod Podge I think is my favorite. Even though it's more work and you have bubbles, I feel like you just get like more of like longevity out of it. So here, here your girl is trying to be like, let's think of some creative ways so you don't get wrinkles on this. And it was, you guys, I always got to create more work for myself, you know? I need to get one of those, like, Mod Podge, the roller things. Does anybody have those? Do they work? Because um, I use Mod Podge a lot, so it would be nice to just kind of, you know, it's hit or miss. Sometimes I get wrinkles, sometimes I don't. Here, I was actually lucky. I only got a few wrinkles right there on the top left, but I wasn't mad about it. It's a barn, you know? It could have some wrinkles and texture in it. So now I'm going to take the wood dowels and we needed four because obviously there was a gap on the top that we needed to hide. And I wanted to hide the, the hole on the, the top of here too. Now you guys, I have done two other DIY calendar videos. I will link that down in the description box. In my first video, I show you how you can hide those holes in the calendar. So definitely check out the first calendar video to get that information. All right, so we are using our detailed gun. The Sure Bonder detail gun is so good for projects like this where you need to be like super accurate. We You don't want a bunch of hot glue spilling over the sides. This works perfectly. And I'm just going to apply the four dowels to the top and then we are going to do the same thing for the bottom. And I think it looks cute. I love the simplicity. I, um, I thought about maybe adding like burlap to it. I thought of a lot of things with this sign, but I just felt like the horse itself was just so beautiful and stood out so much that it really didn't need anything. So you guys can attach ribbon. There are already holes in the back, but I'm actually gonna go back and attach ribbon or I might use it as like a bookcase. I don't know. Okay, so you see, I'm trying. I'm like, okay, like, do we need bows? Do we not? Does it need more? Um, I even get the Dollar Tree ribbon and maybe try to um, recreate, like, the bow on the horse to give it some dimension over here. But I just couldn't. I was like, it's just too nice on its own. All right, look at how cute this. I could not leave this DIY video without doing something with this image. So you guys, this was a piece of wood. I've had it in my basement forever. I had painted it linen white, Rust-Oleum chalk paint, and it's been sitting down here. It's dirty. I was like, oh, cool. I think it's about probably 11.25 by 11.25. Um, I'm taking the still gray with a one inch chippy brush, you guys, and we are just going to basically just brush it on. And you really don't even have to do the whole piece of wood here. Um, because your image is essentially going to cover the middle. So just do, I, I just did it anyways, that's cool. Um, I love dry brushing. I think it just adds so much depth to a piece. You guys let me know as usual, which one your favorite one is. And let me know too, if you want more calendar DIY videos, cause seriously, once I get started on these, I can literally keep going and make like I could have kept going with this video I love getting creative with the calendar DIYs like I, I still have so many more ideas so if you guys want to see another one let me know and I will gladly do it so we cut this out and you guys I am going to mod podge this of course I have no rhyme or reason for how I do this because this one I just put the mod podge on the um, pumpkin itself. I didn't put it on the wood, you know, when I first laid it out, but I did feel like doing that. I got such a smoother image. Like there was no wrinkles at all in this pumpkin. It looks like it's on the sign. You know what I'm saying? Like it looks like it's painted on this sign. It does not look like it is paper. 
So I Mod Podge over the top, you guys, and if you're anything like me and you're not patient, then get your blow dryer on cool setting and um, go ahead and dry that up. So I tried a bunch of sayings. Like I wanted it initially to say thankful, but it didn't fit. Then I was grateful and I was like, oh, that's more letters. That's not gonna fit. So then I just decided on our last name. So I got the wood letters. Remember you guys, there are not duplicates in these wood letter packs. So if you have um, duplicate letters in your name or whatever, you need to get a couple packs of these. So I painted these black because I really wanted them to pop off of this sign and really stand out. I was initially thinking elephant gray, but I was just like, no. Like I want you to see like Veltries from, you know, when you walk into the house kind of thing. So now playing around, I am using my measuring mat as usual to make sure that I have some straight lines and it helps that there's a straight line right there for us. So again, using my Surebonder detail gun here, we are going to apply these and I'm not going to put any hanger on here or anything because I'm just gonna prop this up in a bookshelf or maybe on my mantle, I haven't decided yet, but I absolutely love this, you guys. It looks so high-end and like I said, it looks like it's painted on there. I showed my girlfriend this last night and she was like, is that a painting? And I was like, no girl, that's a calendar. Look at how cute. I love you. All right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed these calendar DIYs because I absolutely enjoy making them for you. Again, if you would like to support my channel, if you want to see more of these videos, please make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Y'all know I love, love hearing from you. And let me know if you want more of these because I got ideas and I love to make them. Look at this. I wish I would have angled that piece, but you know what? And maybe put some tails on the bow, but I could still add those since it's it comes off. You know what I'm saying? And then look, just reverse it. Don't mind it being crooked right here. Look at that stain color. Yes, I love it. Oh, hey, a little excited. Sorry, you know, I love these projects. I thoroughly, thoroughly like enjoy doing this. Like I can't believe I get to say that this is like my full time job. Like it makes me so happy. It's, I can't believe it. I'm getting teary eyed. Oh, gosh, your girl is a hot mess this morning. Okay. I don't know which one's my favorite at all. I keep going back and forth. Like I love the horse one, but I also love the Veltry one, but I also love the one I just showed you. So I really don't know here. All right, you guys, it is Monday. I hope you guys had a great start to your week. I hope the rest of your week goes extremely well for you. Always stay positive. Kindness matters. And I hope y'all have an amazing, amazing week. And I will see you back here on Wednesday and on Friday. Bye. kind of okay we're doing this all in one day Hank don't judge me don't judge me just join join okay don't have to sit there with prying eyes <laughs>